Now I want to move from the right side of the board to the left side, which is the switcher. So these buttons right here are what I want to focus on. Uh, you'll see in the top row it says program and then preview. And on my monitor, you'll see that there's a red highlighted uh, part of the quadrant. That's right. You'll see my, my light is red here. That means I'm in program. And so if I switch over to one, that means program is now on one. And you can see on my, my monitor over here, this is my program monitor. So anytime I switch these buttons on the top row, you can see that I'm switching to um, I'm hard switching from in program. But what you could do is you can set your shot up in preview mode. Let's say I want to go to two. I'm going to two in program, and I'm now I've got one in preview. And in preview mode, I can zoom in on this guy over here. And let's go a little faster on it, kind of zoom in on it. And now I'm ready to cut to it. I can actually use this cut button right here and push that. And now that automatically cut me to program in channel one. I'm going to cut it again, and it's going to go back to channel two. And you see the colors changed from green to red, red to green. And that means I'm in preview mode or program. So that way I can set my shot up before I switch to program because that's you don't want to move your camera or anything like that when you're when you're in program you want to do that when you're in preview mode. And then you have the T bar here. This has allowed me to fade from one and I can do it slowly if I want or I can do auto. Auto means it's just going to automatically fade it at about 1 second. You can change that in the menu the speed of the auto if you'd like or you can just do a hard cut here. That's the basic functionality of, of how to switch with the HS1600T. Next thing I'd like to show you is how to do a luma key, and that means lower third graphic that you want to overlay your video. Uh, now, right now, um, I have, let me put me on input three here, where the camera's looking right at me. Let's say I want to put a lower third right underneath me. As you remember, I have a laptop right here that I have connected to the HS1600T with through HDMI. And that is showing up right here in input four. It says my name, Data Video Corporation. And if I want to bring that up, what I can do is push this Luma key button right here. And now you don't see anything change here on the, the preview monitor. But on the program monitor, you can see that it's, it's, it's come up here. Now, if I'm on program and preview on three, I can actually fade that off. So I have, because I have the, the Luma keys in program, and then I can fade it to preview. And you can see how it just disappears on the screen. Now, how do I get to this Luma key? Uh, first of all, I can go to the menu. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that there's a, a, a Luma key down there. I'm going to scroll down to the Luma key. And you can see that there's Luma key source. Right now I have Luma keys input four. And then I have the color mode, which I made a black background slide on the PowerPoint. And then you can actually clean it up. So if you want it to be a little sharper or less transparent, you can change those in the menu here by just using your arrow keys. It's really that simple. So it's uh, not hard to do. And, and by the way, if you want to know a little bit more about how to make a lower third in PowerPoint, we did produce a video on how to do that, you can click on the link in the description below in this video. Next thing I'd like to show you is picture in picture and split screen. First of all, if you want to do a picture in picture, um, I changed the slide here. You can see there's a little workflow diagram that I put in input for. It's a PowerPoint slide. And let's say I want to talk about that slide and I want to, but I want to have the picture in picture of myself embedded in this slide. So what I can do is go into the menu I go to the menu and I select picture and picture and you can see the picture picture source is input already set in input three I can change that by going into the menu and changing which one I want but input three is me that's where I am so that's going to be the picture and picture so if I select the picture and picture you can see it's right over here on the screen and I turn that off and it's there's no longer there so here's the whole image and now here's the picture and picture and again I can if I have this in both 
shots here, I can fade that on and off the screen. So how do I move that picture in picture or size it? I can go into the menu here. And again, I can go into the picture in picture here and I can actually size by selecting PIP size and then I can make it bigger or smaller depending on which direction I set this. I can move the position here by moving it from left to right. Let's make that a little bigger actually. So I'm going to go back up here and size it bigger. Got carried away here. But now it's off the screen. I'm going to uh, go down to position it back onto the screen. And then I can just move it over here to the left and I'm back into the shot and uh, do the menu. And now I can just turn that PowerPoint or that picture in picture on and off anytime I'd like. Split screen, what I can do is I can select the split button right here and I select that. And now you can see I have the PowerPoint on my left and uh, another input on, on my right. And if you go into the menu, and again, I select my split screen here. I can select which source down here I want. So if I wanted to change that source to one or make it me, three, you could have a split screen uh, just by selecting that in the menu. And there you have it, the HS1600T Mark II, a very powerful system for a one operator, a four camera or a three camera and a laptop setup. There's really nothing like it. So I hope you enjoy your system and make sure you practice using it because I think even though this seemed easy to use, you want to make sure you try it out before you do a live event. Thanks for watching.